I received a parcel the other day and I was quite surprised because I hadn't ordered anything. And inside is a copy of Mario Golf. It took us a few minutes to realise what was going on. And there's a clue on the front of the packet. Post by the end of the 2nd of December 2021. So this has taken almost two years to arrive. If I have a look on my eBay, which luckily it's still on, it says I got a refund of £2.56 and it was dispatched on the 25th of November. That'll be 2021. So where on earth it's been in the meantime is anyone's guess. So we'll plug it in and we'll see if it works. We have a faulty Nintendo logo, so we'll open it up and we'll find out what's wrong with it. I have already cleaned this with some IPA and that didn't fix it. So we'll have a look at that underneath the microscope. What I find strange about this is all of the flux still seems quite wet. All of these pins are still intact. The only thing I can see is this little bit of corrosion here on that pin. The rest of them look okay. Nothing on the other side of the board. So we'll check that pin and perhaps do a small trace repair. We'll go into continuity mode and we'll follow this up to here and there's no continuity. So I think it's just this, just this here. I'll use a fiberglass pen and I'll scrape that off and see what's like underneath. You can see the corrosion coming off there. I'll put some white vinegar on. Try and get rid of the rust. Now you can see where, where the copper disappears. And that's a complete break from here to here. So we'll just put a little jumper from this side to this side and we'll see if that fixes it. We'll snap that off. And I'm hoping that won't foul in the cartridge slot. I can take some of this solder back off if needs be. I'm hoping that'll be okay. We'll clean it off. We'll check for continuity to make sure that it's to make sure it's worked. And it has. So we'll put that back in. And we'll do a quick test. It's gone in okay.
Nintendo. And it's worked. Ross and Lee's been playing by the looks of it. Push start. New game. I will continue. Oh, I can't continue. Push start. Course select Japan. Right, never played this before. And I'm not going to start now because I've got another game to look at. So we'll turn that off. And we'll look at the next one. I'll put the screw back in there first. Otherwise I'll forget it. So two years. Almost two years to fix that. And the next one is a Game Boy Color game. Which, oh yeah, it's terrible. Let's have a look and see how much it cost. So this one cost me £1.50. Not bad. I only bought this one to bulk the video out, really. And this one, there you go. A very corrupted Nintendo logo. We'll see what this one looks like. I, sh I haven't cleaned this one. I should have cleaned this one first. So let's just give it a give it a clean and try again. I'm hoping it doesn't work. Ah, oh, you're joking. Oh, it doesn't work. Hang on. What happened there? A proper Nintendo logo, and then nothing. I think that's going to be a loose pin. Right, let's take a closer look. These don't look too bad. Ah, uh, here we go, look. Some trace repair needed, I think. Perhaps one here. A couple over here. I don't know about this one. That should go through there, so that should be okay. I'll check these for... That one's okay. That one's okay. So this one is okay. This one, that's okay too. I would have bet you bottom dollar that that was faulty. And that one. So if those are okay, I'm going to go back to a faulty pin. Yes, it's always that one. It's always the top one. Just dab a hot iron on there. No, I'm not convinced. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh, fresh solder on. There we go. While I'm here, I'm just going to put a little bit of white vinegar on there. Just to stop that being eaten away. We'll just wash it off with some IPA. I'll just give these a bit of a a bit of a rub with a fiberglass pen. Okay, right. What do you think? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy.
Let's test it. Perfect. And Tom and Jerry. There we go. One player. Level one the street. I've never I don't think I've ever seen this before. So what what's he collecting? Is he collecting cheese? Okay, well Well that's working fine. So we'll put the screw back in there. I've I'm hoping to find a couple more, but I don't want to pay too much for a faulty game. So if you do have a faulty Game Boy game, those are the the things you've got to look out for. If I can find some more to fix to finish the video off, I shall do. If I can't find any more to fix, this is the end of the video. It's a short one, but thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Happy fixing!